Good morning, guys. So, I was just about to leave the house, and then I realized that I'm in a bit of a predicament because I don't have any gas, and I also don't have my card anymore, sorry, because somebody, like, tried to use it. And so, like, I'm getting sent a new one, but I can't go and get gas because I don't have my new card yet. So, I'm going to have to fill up using this, which is what we, like, the gas for the lawnmower. So, that's fun, but we're on the way to the church right now. I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can adjust this. Hello? What was that? Okay, that's better. We're on the way to the church right now because they're having like a worship night kind of thing. And Bailey is playing the drums, so we're just gonna go up there. Or not a worship night, it's like a, for the school that's connected with CLC or with the church. That should be enough, I think. Anyway, so they're having like a CLC experience, which is basically just like showing people like what the school is all about. That's where Bailey and I graduated from. I think I just took the rest of that. Um, anyways, Bailey's playing the drums, so we are, me and Hendrix are gonna go up there and worship and just like get out of the house. And then we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. We're gonna go have brunch, I think. But, oh, I just realized I did that and the car was completely on. Let me turn it off. Wait a little bit, see if that little tiny bit of gas even did anything. Let me adjust this. Anyways, what are you guys doing today? Um, I'll show you guys my fit in a second, but... That didn't do anything. So hopefully we can get to the church with no issues. But I'll show you guys my fit once we get out of the car. Um, but I just, oh my God, this thing is broken. I just threw on a hat because I hated my hair this morning and I used to always wear hats. And then I stopped for some reason and I don't know why because I love wearing hats and I think it looks really good with this outfit. But yeah, that didn't do anything for my car. So I really hope I can get up to the church. <gasps>
guys, so I'm back home. Um, it's been a pretty long day, but after the um, worship set this morning, I took myself to Goodwill because I have been wanting to like upcycle um, our like candles and stuff. Sorry, this stuff is in the background. This is if y'all have ever had this soda, it's so good, so good. Anyways. I'm sorry. Um, I've been wanting to like upcycle our candles and I wanted to show you guys kind of like a DIY, DIY way that you can make your candles look cuter. So took myself to the Goodwill. I found these two bowls um, and I am going to spray paint them so they won't stay like this. Okay, so Hendrix is napping and I'm editing this video. I ended up not using those bowls because I messed them up. So I'm like using different bowls and you'll see that in the clip, but just to like clarify. <laughs> um, and I also found a wider bowl because I love the look of those like long wide like thick candles um but they can be pretty pricey so i'm going to show you guys what you can do with your candles this is also great if you know you're in like tj maxx or something you love the smell of a candle but you just don't really like the container that it's in because i find myself in that predicament a lot i love the scent but the container doesn't really go with like our decor and like our aesthetic so this is a pretty cheap way that you can fix that problem all right you guys so for this one I wanted it to have that um, concrete bowl kind of look if you have seen that I'll try to insert some pictures but I'm going to actually do the baking soda trick with this so I'm taking my paint I'm just going to use these two gray colors that came in this little set. Um, and I'm going to mix it with baking soda. Um, that's That trick has been going around all over TikTok if you guys have seen it. But basically you just mix equal parts paint with equal parts baking soda. I usually do more or less baking soda depending on how I want the texture to be. Um, so for this first coat, I didn't do that much baking soda so I can, um, get more of the surface area and it's not so thick. So you just see me doing that here, just mixing that up. And, um, like I said, this is, I'm going to use a darker one for the, like, base layer. And then I'll use the lighter one for the... Um, like second coat and I'll make that one a little bit thicker so here we go just brushing it on and I love how this turned out you guys it turned out so good okay and here I'm just taking the paint and I'm just putting that all on the inside I didn't add baking soda to the inside paint um, because it just doesn't matter that the inside has texture that we want on the outside. You know, we really want that look on the outside. So, anyways, yeah, I'm just spreading that paint all on the inside. Okay, and here I just took the lighter gray and um, the baking soda, and I'm just going over top of that darker. Um, not making it perfect, but just to give it some dimension, because as we know, like, concrete isn't... Um, all one color. There are different, you know, colors, textures, things like that. So that's just what this lighter gray is doing. Just giving a little bit of dimension. All right, you guys. So while um, our bowls and things are drying, we are going to melt our candles. So this is the candle I'm going to use for the big bowl. I just put some water in a pot and I'm just gonna let it um, heat up completely and until all the wax is um, completely melted and then we can pour it into our new container. 
All right, you guys, so for this next part, I just picked up these candle wicks from Michael's. I believe they were like $3 or something like that. Um, if not, you can use their coupon or Hobby Lobby has their 50% um, off coupon as well. Um, I'm going to use these as our new wicks. I'm going to use three. This is a pack of six. I'm going to use three. And I'm just going to hot glue this um, bottom part to the bottom of our new bowl. Alright you guys, so now that your candle is dry, we are going to pour it into our new container and be careful because this is hot. Alright, so now I'm just going to take some straws because that's what I have um, in order to keep the wicks up straight. I'm just going to wrap it around. Alright you guys, so I actually let these dry overnight. Um, but now I'm just going to cut off the excess um, wick part. And you can see that the candle has dried completely. And we are left with a brand new candle. Um, now I'm gonna go into the next one. All right guys, for this one, I got these two clear bowls from the dollar store. So they were literally a dollar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and with my Gorilla Glue glue sticks. Um, if you watch Drew Scott, from Lone Fox. He talks about these all the time, so I went and bought them. They are amazing. Um, I'm going to put hot glue around the bottom of this one and then stick this bowl right on top. So, my hot glue gun should be nice and hot. And just for a little bit of extra security, I'm just going to go around the edge and do a little bit of hot glue. All right, that should be good. I'm gonna let that dry. And while it's drying, we can go put our other candle into the boiling water. This is the candle that I'm going to be melting. I got this one from, I wanna say TJ Maxx or Ross or something. Um, I actually don't hate the container that it's in but I could also use the container for something else. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and melt this down into our boiling water just like we did with the other candle. 
guys we are outside now um, I just laid down this is a trash bag but I'm going to spray the bowls with this um, just white spray paint and then I'm going to go I'm sorry if you can hear all that ruckus but I'm gonna go over the um, top of it with this stone um, texture spray paint just to you know, make it look like stone. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are back inside. I'm just repeating the same process that I did with the other candle and I'm just taking my Gorilla Glue and I am gluing a new wick to the bottom of the top bowl. And I'm gonna do the same thing again like the other one. And I'm going to take a um, straw and I'm going to wrap it around the wick just to keep it upright um, for when we pour the wax in. And you can see me here taking the candle wax and pouring it into the new container. Um, again, making sure to be very careful because it is very hot. Um, but once you're done, you are left with these amazing, beautiful, chic, modern candles just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.